Okay, folks, welcome back. It's that time again where we get to spend time with the dogs and talk about racing and do what we love to do here in Alaska. Welcome to 2022. It's been a long time since I've seen you all. Kale Casey here on loan from the Alaska Dog Center. Thanks, Carrie and Rosie and Bad Manners Kennel back in Willow for giving me the time to come here and be with Paige and Cody and Dylan and Kate as we do the Copper Basin. So here we are. We got four dogs. The dogs are getting their coats on. Let's turn it around here. This is what Dylan's doing right now. He is getting the dogs ready for these temperatures. So they get a coat and then they also get um, a genital guard and that helps them keep their um, their private parts. And then of course, they're looking, we've got some leggings out here right now. So you're with Dylan, who's running his first qualifier. And we're super proud of him working with Squid Team. And then you have the trackers going on right now. So remember, trackers, trackleaders.com. That's where we're gonna find how the teams are doing. They'll be sitting right here. And they'll go ahead and give you the online mapping if it all goes well. So there's Paige and she's gonna be getting ready here soon. Yeah, we're getting all the sled stuff ready. So they'll be carrying their gear and their hooks and all their regular supplies that they have to, sleeping bag, snowshoes, and then these trackers have to go on, right? There they are. There's Kate. Kate's helping out. Where are you from, Kate? I live in Fairbanks. And how many times have you raced this? I've raced it zero times. Hey, me I've too. Handled, I've handled a few times. All right, so what do handlers do? Handlers, um, they help park the teams in the checkpoints. They drive the truck around. They're just like team managers, you know, good support for the team. Um, we'll take any dropped dogs that are um, tired or injured or anything and take care of them for the rest of the race. Um, we clean up after the teams, after they go through the checkpoints, so scoop up all the straw, all the poop, um, clean up all their gear, um, any food or gear that they leave behind, um, and just general moral support, you know. Exactly. Sure there, so. Keep the truck warm, yeah, and we have, sure we have a good time. just so you know, Kate, you have Margaret Ellie from the UK saying hi, Pat hi. Toop saying good luck to all the teams from New Orleans. Ooh. Thanks for joining us from down there. There's Sue King Mills saying go Paige Squid. And in fact, this is Paige's A team, right? Yes. So we're looking at the A team. The way we lay it out here is Kate's standing on the one side of the truck with the A team. And then Dylan's on the other side of the truck with the B team. And then Cody is back home in Denali and he's working on taking care of all the rest of the dogs. And so these are what the long distance sleds look like. This is the scene here in the parking lot in Glen Allen. It is cold as fuck. And I'm just gonna say it that way. If you have kids in the room, let them know what that means. Minus 38 is a very, very cold situation for everybody to handle. There's Al Eikens cruising by. So we say cold Alpha Fremont. Cold as you know what. But this race is always that way. That's why it's miles in Alaska. So you can see other dog teams getting ready here. Thanks for shouting out. Lori Lowey, we'll go ahead and follow the, um, your favorite musher on trackleaders.com. That's where the little trackers are gonna be. Okay, so here's the general guards. So Dylan right now is putting these on, otherwise known as pecker protectors or whatever you wanna call them. This is it. Those go underneath the bottom of the dog and they look like this. And they go ahead and protect that general area from frostbite that's very key especially when it's this this cold okay so we're gonna go ahead and sign off here go ahead and join us as soon as you can when we're back on fingers are freezing we'll get ready <laughs> 